Dear shareholders, extraordinary times, extraordinary AGM. That's what I said already last year, but little did I know how long we would have to live with this virus. Despite the fact that we're not able to meet in person this year either, I am confident that we will have a good Q&A virtually. Over the past year, we have shown great resilience and have learned to cope with the challenges posed by COVID-19. We're making good progress towards the 2022 financial targets, and I'm pleased that Nordea has not only managed the crisis, but also has been very active in supporting customers across the Nordic region and has maintained a prudent approach to risks. The bank has been able to improve customer satisfaction and increase both business volumes and market shares across the Nordics. In addition, our recently launched ambitious sustainability targets demonstrate our commitment to a sustainable future. Despite the operational progress, the dividend restrictions have had a negative impact on return on equity. As you are aware, the European Central Bank's recommendations led to a delay in our dividend process as we adapted our plan to follow the ECB's guidance. We understand the rationale for dividend restrictions when it comes to the banking sector in general, but as a strongly capitalized bank, our path is clear. We plan to pay out dividends to our shareholders. Our capital and dividend policy is unchanged, and we consider dividend payments to be a matter of timing only. Today, the AGM authorized the board to decide on a dividend payment of a maximum of 72 euro cents per share in line with Nordea's dividend policy. This includes the remaining 2019 dividend, as well as 39 euro cents per share for 2020, and would mean a maximum total payout of 79 euro cents per share in 2021. The first installment of uh, 7 euro cents per share has already been distributed in line with the ECB recommendations. The board has also been authorized to decide on share buybacks of up to 500 million shares in order to optimize Nordea's capital position and increase sustainable shareholder returns for the benefit of all shareholders. COVID-19 will, of course, continue to have an impact on societies and businesses, but we are gradually heading towards more normal times. At Nordea, we are carefully reviewing what we have learned over the past 12 months and how we can improve our operations based on these experiences. Nordea performed well in 2020, but there's still work to be done to improve performance and develop the bank even further. I would now like to express three special messages of gratitude for the past year. First, I would like to thank all Nordea employees for their hard work and great efforts during the pandemic. Second, I would like to thank Frank and the new leadership team for driving the improved performance. And last but not least, I would like to thank all our shareholders and customers for standing by us and being flexible in these extraordinary times. I would also like to thank Pernille Ehrenbjerg for her contributions as a member of the board and welcome Claudia Dill as the new board member. Personally, I'm strongly committed to continuing as chair of the board for the next year. Together, we will support Nordea's management in leading the bank towards the 2022 financial targets and beyond that. Let me conclude by stating that we are glad to see the improved performance, but not yet satisfied. We will continue to raise our ambitions and create value for you, our shareholders. Thank you.